My son's waiting out there. He's he's tired. He was crying. He wanted to come in here with me, so you guys don't have to. Uh, I don't have to answer tough questions, but he's crying out there because he's because he's sleepy. All right, hit it. Hey, have you seen a wide receiver play at this level that AJ Brown? Man, a AJ is a phenomenal player. He just has this unbelievable ability to come down with the football. Um, nobody catches the ball as pretty as AJ Brown. Nobody. Like I, I can't tell you how many times at practice. Like I, I'm just in awe of good uh, wide receivers and and you know just the the skill that they have and like nobody goes and snags the football like him. It, like there's, no, there's nobody I've seen in per, and it's so much it's so much cooler in person to see that and when it's on your team. So he he's on a tear right now. Um and the other guys are playing good too. They're, why is he on a tear? Well, because Devontae Smith's on one side and and Dallas Goddard is on is in the middle and and DeAndre Swift's in the backfield. And now Julio Jones over there. So appreciative of Howie and man, I, I thought there was something I I would I thought I would never say this but but I think this week at practice AJ was having an unbelievable practice and I went up to Mr. Laurie and I go I, I'm like there's no way I ever thought this would have came out of my mouth thanks for the hundred million dollars to pay AJ Brown I really appreciate that like a guy from Jamestown New York I never thought I'd ever say hey thanks for the a hundred million dollars to pay AJ Brown we got good defense uh, great job to the defensive staff first and foremost to put them in positions to make plays um, but at the end of the day it's about the players making the plays and so I, what I thought was really we made them one dimensional because that team, man, I, I can't tell you how much respect I have for for Mike and his staff and those players. I mean, I talk about the the guy that's the prettiest catching the ball in AJ Brown. I never seen anybody as fast as Tyreek Hill in person. Like, I mean, damn, uh, he's fast as hell. Um, and and so like, but great job by our DBs. Uh, you know, we knew he was going to get some some plays and, and this and that. But um, f you know, starts with our offense, our defensive line, and being able to apply pressure, which, which I thought we did, and the, and the DBs did a good job of making him hold the ball a tick uh, when we did were able to get home. Um, but it started with making him one-dimensional, and I thought, like, I think you saw some good things there with Hassan with the way they, they kind of stopped the toss-crack play and, and set the edge, um, you know, because they've, they've, they've been highly successful on that play. Um, and and Mike, got into, Mike did a good job of getting it going because he ended up hitting a couple. They ended up hitting a couple by disguising it and not tossing and hand it behind like I can't tell you how much respect I got for for that staff uh, but uh, great job by our defensive staff great job by our defensive players yeah I mean you see why we hired them right um, you know, we, we knew uh, the type of guy we were getting. Um, I just think he's done a phenomenal job of, you know, what I think he's just done a, such a good job of is, is what I admire of any coach, adapting to the personnel that you have. Um, you know, and I think he's done that and, and uh, you know, we'll continue to look to climb, but Sean has done, an, uh, has done a great job of putting the guys in positions to make plays and, and our defensive staff, they all contribute to that. Um, so hats off to all of them and, and obviously hats off to Howie because you know it's all about the players and and we're really we're doing a great job up front um, again Hassan Reddick doesn't have to sack the quarterback to affect the game Josh Sweat you know the same thing um, being able to and again I'll have to watch the tape but just the live it looked like those two guys had an unbelievable game Nick, why did you on the fourth and one play for your own 26 it looked like you I didn't know what the down and distance was exactly. I think, you know, initially I thought it, I, I thought it was a little bit further back than it was, and then I got a good look of where the spot was. I probably should have been stand. I didn't, I didn't love that I had to call a timeout there, you know, but I had to get a, a, a second look at where the spot was. I thought initially it was two. Um, but it was more like a, a yard, and I thought to myself, well, I'd be crazy if I don't go for it on fourth and one with the type of guys that we have. And, and so, again, it goes back to the dudes that we got uh, and making the play. What, what kind of psychological edge do you think it gives you guys that you can run that play? It's first and nine every down. You know, every first down is first and nine. Um, knowing that if you get the fourth, fourth and one, um, shoot, a lot of faith in that play. Um, just be, you know, yeah, so um, it was awesome. Again, just Jason Kelsey starts it off. Jalen Hurts, uh, you know, is right there. You know, haven't been able to drive because you've seen it, right? You've seen it across the league that people can't do it like we can do it.
they can't do it like we can do it. And uh, and so I'm making my plug right there. Like, don't don't ban this play. Like, if everyone could do it, everybody would. Where's the camera? If everybody could do it, everybody would do it. Yeah, Rob, I know you're not here every day when we're with the with the local media. I'm probably not giving you that information. We'll see. I, I got to talk to the trainers. Uh, I got to talk to Jalen. We'll get him in tomorrow. Uh, John's going to ask me tomorrow. Elliot's going to ask me tomorrow. How's Jalen? I'm going to say I got to see him a little bit more. I'll let you know Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday's going to come. It's going to be before practice. They're going to ask me again. I'm going to say I got to see how it's how it's looking out there, um, and I'll get you some more information on Friday. Friday, we'll see if he's on the injury report or not. Um, and for when Friday comes, he's gonna, they're going to ask, what do you all think? What's going to happen here? I said, we'll get you the injury report later in the day. Um, I just string them along. <laughs>